Hello and welcome to new session of MonsterCam X9 2D Milling Sketch and we are in chapter 2.1.2 Here in this chapter we will be dealing with arc, circle, fillet and chamfers Let's start with arc and circle To find the menus to create arc and circle you have two options of getting it First, go to the tool bar and expand create you will find arc menu and you expand that you will get seven options or methods to create an arc and circle or else you go to sketch toolbar expand arc and menu and you will get the same seven methods or options to create arc and circle let's see each method one by one we'll start with creating circle with center point this is the simplest of all you just need to define the center point either by snapping it or just entering the coordinates after selecting the center point you need to enter either on either the value of radius or diameter and just click OK you will get the circle with the values you have entered next is creating an arc polar for this you need to specify the center point of the arc either by snapping it or entering the coordinates after that you have to define the start point and start, let's say this is the arc we'll first define the center point then we'll define the start point and define the angle next is create circle edge points you have two options of creating the circle with an edge point that is three point method or define the diameter of it with two point method so if you going to define a circle with three point method you have to enter the coordinates of uh, three points that that a circle will fit you cannot define uh, the radius or the diameter for it because it's automatically detected Mass software will be automatically detecting and fitting a circle and if you if you are defining two point you just need to enter the coordinates or snap these points and you will get the circle next is defining arc endpoints you have to define these two points and enter the radius or diametrical value you will get an arc there next is defining arc with three points here you have to define the three points and you will get an arc that fits in these three points next is creating arc polar endpoints here we either define the the uh, outer angle or an in inner angle and and specify the point you will get an arc with that angle and the radius or diameter that you have defined next is creating arc tangent method we have seven options of creating an arc with tangent first one is tangent to one entity and next is tangent point tangent center line dynamic tangency arc tangent with three entities circle tangent with three entities and finally arc tangent with two entities let's look into each of it so if you are going to define uh, tangency one point method and defining the radius or a diameter you just need to select a line and define a point you will get this uh, arc here if you analyze this arc you will find that the point that you have clicked is defining the center point of it so an arc will be drawn taking this axis and the values as 25 or, or I mean radial value as 25 and an arc is created on it which is tangent to the line that you have selected next is a tangent point wherein you select the a line and you define a point and 
we have def already defined the value of radius or a diameter and software will be creating all possible arcs here which is tangent to this line and lies on this point that you have defined so you select any one of the options and that option will be lying on the screen and others will be deleted next is tangent and the center line for this first you need to select a tangent a, a, a line and then you need to define a center line to get a circle like this so if your uh, center line is perpendicular to the the line to which we need to create a tangent circle you will get a circle like this or if your line is not perpendicular to the the tangent line you will get a circle whose values is lying I mean, let's say the ra radius is 25 mm the center point of this circle will be lying 25 mm away from the tangent line the software calculate this point and create a circle which is tangent to the line selected next is arc tangent three points you need to select three point three lines and you an arc which fits the tangent C will be created on the screen and next is dynamic tangency in dynamic tangency you just need to select a line and you can find an arrow which can float on the line if you extend or uh, force the arrow on the end point you will get a tangent circle and the second point will define the radius of it or a diameter of it you cannot enter the values for dynamic tangency the radius is defined by selecting the end point of the circle but you you can be sure that this arc will be always tangent to the line selected you can either this i, I either place the arc at the end point or place dynamically on any point that is lying on that line next is circle tangent three points it's very similar to arc tangent three points it just fits draws a circle instead of an arc when you select three tangent lines and finally arc tangent two points here when you define two lines you can and you enter the value of radius or diameter if the line is mutually perpendicular you will get this type of arc and if it's at an angle you will get this type of arcs next we will look into fillet and chamfer so if you want to get the menus of creating fillet and chamfer you go to the toolbar and expand create you have two options here either if you want to go for fillet you can expand fillet and get the menus and if you want to go for chamfer you can expand chamfer and you get the menus here or you go to the sketch menu expand this uh, fillet menu and you will get all the options that is fillet entities fillet chains fillet chamfer entities chamfer chains let's look into each menus we'll start with fillet when you define a simple fillet you will get this on the ribbon bar and in fillet type you have four options here that is normal inverse circle and clearance the normal one is that we get when you uh, do a fillet and inverse is just opposite to the normal fillet that we do and circle is it will div it will put it will create a full circle which is tangent to the both the lines and in clearance it will create a circle something like this and which is generally used for uh, defining a pocket 
if your pocket shape is something like this and if you want to create a clearance hole you can go for it and when you opt for fillet chain menu to create to put a fillet on entire chain first you will get a a, a, a window like this wherein you need to select this wireframe option go click the radio button 3d select this uh, menu to define the method of chaining and you select the chain and when you click OK you will get that instead of uh, picking each corners individually you have now selected the entire chain and the fillet falls on each corners here we have in fillet chain there is one more option called direction if the method or type you have selected if you go for all corners you can see that a fillet is created on all the corners the type is that you define here in this case when you go for normal you will get if you keep all corners you will get this option and if you go for inverse and you select either positive sweep or negative sweep you will get you just need to uh, play around with the sweeps to get the proper direction of the fillet and if you go for clearance you will get this type of fillets here or a clearance hole rather than telling it as fillet and if you define this value here you will get a, billet, uh, a bigger circle or an arc so basically uh, based on your uh, requirement you can play around with all these options to get a good fillet next we'll see chamfer if you click just chamfer and it is you are define going to define a chamfer for uh, two lines you have four options here distance 1 distance 2 distance and angle and width if you opt for distance 1 it will be creating uh, a chamfer whose distance is same for uh, let's say this is the intersection point if you go for distance 1 and let's say this is 5 it will calculate a point 5 mm from both uh, the directions and it will create a line which is if the distance is same and the lines are perpendicular you will get a 45 degree chamfer or if you want to define a second distance that is second distance you will get this you can see that now you will be able to enter the values here so when you go for second distance it will create a point separately the, uh, that the value you have defined on the second line and a chamfer is drawn and if you define if you go for this distance and angle you can see that the angle is highlighted and distance 1 is highlight, highlighted and you can enter the values there and next is is width option now if you define this two distance you are not sure what the uh, width of the chamfer you will get so if you want to be particular and you know this value you can define this width and place a place a uh, chamfer there and next we'll see how to create chamfer chains using chain command when you go opt for this you can do a multiple chamfers in one click if you have a closed section and when you click this chamfer chains you will go to this chain menu and you need to select wireframe and click on the radio button 3d and go for uh, this method of chaining options define the chain and click ok you will get this on the uh, ribbon bar 
in this we have only two options either defining a uh, single distance or defining the width which i have already explained in chamfer entities based on your requirement you can enter those values and click okay and finally you will get the chamfer 